Hey everyone, thank you for checking out this video from PH Data. Today we'll be talking about how to migrate your SQL database to Snowflake using Attunity Replicate. We're going to be taking data from a MySQL database that is within an Amazon RDS instance, and we're going to be migrating that into a Snowflake instance which is running on Azure. So let's go ahead and show that off. So here I am with an Attunity Replicate, and I've just created a new task and we're sitting at this kind of blank page. Um, ahead of time, I've gone ahead and created both our source and targets, but let's go ahead and check those out. So a simple way to set up a target endpoint for your MySQL instance is to simply have the server, the port that it's running on, and a username and password that's gonna be able to uh, move that data into our Snowflake instance. So we'll go ahead and our, test our connection to make sure it all works. And it does, that's good. And now let's check out our Snowflake side, which will be our target destination of where we're gonna load our data into from the MySQL database. So once again, we have a Snowflake URL, which we'll need to let Attunity know what instance we're writing to. The user that is gonna be performing this action within the Snowflake uh, environment. The warehouse that we're using or the compute of Snowflake, uh, we're, we're defining where that's running from, and the database that we're going to be writing this to. Lastly, uh, with Snowflake, you want to have a staging area, and we're going to be using Azure Blob Storage in this case, and you define your storage account, the access key and SAS token which you set up when you create that storage account, and then which container you wanna write it to. And if you want, you can have a creative folder as well. So we'll go ahead and test that connection, make sure it all works okay. Looks like we're good to go. So go ahead and close that out. And Attunity is pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and create our source being the MySQL um, database. And then our target is going to be the Snowflake that we have set up. Now what's gonna happen here when we go ahead and run this is we're gonna have everything being loaded from MySQL into Snowflake. That's gonna be running through Attunity. But first what we need to do is since our database and tables of our example uh, database here within MySQL has lowercase characters, both in the table name and the columns, Snowflake wants those to be all uppercase. So we gotta make some transformations here. And the way to do that in Attunity Replicate is through global transformations. So let's go ahead and add a couple rules here. And the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna rename the schema. So let's go ahead and select that bullet and move to the next. And I should give it a name. So let's call this Northwind Schema Rename. And we want to have the schema be anything related to Northwind. Oops. And we're gonna convert that schema name into uppercase. Go ahead and confirm all that looks good, which it does. And now let's add another one for the table transformation because we have to put those in uppercase as well. So we'll call that the Northwind table transformation. And this time we'll rename some tables. And we're gonna rename anything once again that has the Northwind All right, let's go ahead and have it be applied to all the tables anywhere within the Northwind schema. And we're gonna convert the table name to uppercase again. And 
And we need to apply one last one to the columns. So we're going to call that the north wind column transformation. Let's click on columns here. And we're going to rename those columns. Once again, we'll apply it to the north wind schema. And we'll convert the column to uppercase. And we'll go ahead and I'll click OK there. Now let's go ahead and select the tables that we are going to move over. So let's hop into the table selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up a definition of the tables from the MySQL database. So let's look at the Northwind schema and do a search there. And we're going to pull over all of these tables. You can do select ones, but since we're going to do them all, we can just click the third from the bottom button. And we're also going to include our Northwind schema. And click OK. All right. Now that we have all of those within there, everything looks good with the selected tables. Once again, we're doing a full load. So we're basically moving the MySQL database over into the Snowflake instance. So let's go ahead and click on the monitor tab. And we're looking pretty good because we haven't actually run anything yet. So let's go ahead and click run. And I always like to do start processing. And let's go ahead and let that get kicked off here. While we're letting that start, we're just going to go into our Snowflake instance quick here, and we'll see that within the temp database that we're going to be putting everything, there isn't a uh, Northwind schema yet. So we'll go ahead and refresh. There's still nothing there. So let's go over into Attunity Replicate, and we'll see that it's just starting off the run here, and so it's starting to load tables slowly in. So as we can see, more and more are loading up, and we can see the progress that each table has. We're gonna go ahead and let this run through. Since this is a fairly small data set that we're going through, it should only take a couple minutes. Awesome. Now that we have everything complete, uh, everything checks out, we can go into our Snowflake instance and let's go ahead and refresh our database objects here. And now we can see that we have a Northwind schema and those tables have also been moved over. Everything has been now capitalized, as you can see. And if we go ahead and look at an example table here, preview some of the data, we can also see that all of the columns have been capitalized as well. The row one is not capitalized here, as that is a default uh, column that is just displayed from within the Snowflake UI. So that is a quick run through of how Attunity Replicate is really quickly able to migrate uh, sample database over into Snowflake. Um, thank you for checking out this video. 